My name is Patrick Cranston, and I'm with uh, Cranston IT. We're based out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and we've been a FileMaker Business Alliance partner for 15 years. And we develop uh, FileMaker custom apps for a wide variety of customers. So just about every project we work with uh, has FileMaker Go as some part of the component, whether it's for iPhone or iPad. We were working with a law office that wanted to be able to push out a custom app to their lawyers that they could uh, have installed on the computer or installed on their iPhones so that they could have just one tap uh, and open it up like a native app on the phone and yet still access their FileMaker system. And so we were looking at the iOS, app, iOS SDK. When I first started looking at it, we had to uh, integrate with uh, Xcode. And while FileMaker gives you some basic tools and guidance on how to download the SDK and use Xcode to work with that, there's a lot of other steps that just aren't clearly defined. And we're not app developers by, you know, as far as learning how to create an app from the ground up. And so there are a lot of steps involved with getting the iOS SDK to work that we just didn't feel like uh, we had the bandwidth to learn. Um, and so we were looking for a tool that would help automate that process and make deploying that SDK app a lot easier than even the process given by FileMaker uh, and Apple using Xcode. So we were at a DevCon and two for you had a booth there where they were demoing how Xcode would work. And as soon as I saw it, I felt like it might be a solution for us because basically two for you takes all the back end headache of having to download the SDK and get it to work with Xcode and figure out all the different steps for handling that and making sure it works right. And they automate that entire process. So we just upload a file to a web service and after a few minutes, it kicks back a uh, ready to deploy iOS app that we can kick and that we can send to our customers. So once we got the initial app up and running, um, we were able to build multiple builds as we would go through the revision process with the client. We were able to make changes to the app and then submit those changes to Xcode, which would kick back an updated version of the app. And one of the big features or one of the big benefits we found with that is that once we had the portal up and running, I could have multiple developers. We had a couple different developers working on the project. They were able to go in and make updates to the app. So if we were doing this internally, whereas if we were using Xcode, when we're using Xcode, any developer can log in. They can say, I want to create a new build of this app. They put a new revision number in. They change out the file with the new version of the FileMaker file that we want to have in the app. And they click the button and they get a, you know, they get a, IPA file, which is the app file, they get that back from Xcode and they're ready to go. So it really helped us uh, distribute that development process to whoever needed, you know, whoever was working on the app at the time and whoever needed to make the update, they could very easily make the update with, you know, with minimal training and with minimal uh, downside to them. For developers who are looking to deploy I, native iOS apps using the FileMaker SDK. My guess is that you'll probably find, like we found, that the whole process of just getting started with getting your developer account set up, figuring out how to use iOS SDK, learning how to build products or, you know, build apps in Xcode, that's the biggest hindrance. There's only so many hours in a day, and we as FileMaker developers are really focused on building the app itself uh, you know, the FileMaker side of it, the interfaces, the business logic, workflows, scripting, uh, layouts, all that sort of stuff. And having to figure out how to, you know, consistently and properly deploy an iOS app uh, is, you know, takes time. And there is a pretty steep learning curve on that. Uh, by using a product like Xcode, you basically eliminate that learning curve. And in a in the course of a couple of hours, you can go from not being able to deploy an iOS uh, app at all to be able to deploy a uh, native iOS app, you know, on FileMaker with just a click of a couple of buttons. And really that time saving uh, is, is huge for a developer that has no experience with uh, working with Xcode and is just wants to be able to push out a native app. And there's really no better way to do that 
uh, other than using a product like Xcode.